Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Titanic MC Frank. Just like I said in the previous in the uh, little announcement video, which you should go watch to learn why I'm doing this. It's the end of summer and that's why I'm doing all these videos. But anyways, let's get straight into it. Also you it says make Frem use the sink Titanic. Warning, after reaction, hold Titanic may cause huge lag. If like happens, rejoin the game. Welcome on board the Titanic. Nick and also if you didn't know, I'm gonna be starting telling you about what Roblox is if you didn't know it. So hold on. So basically, he Roblox is this game where you, where it's a game where there's more, many more mini games inside it. You can do anything. Obviously, there's things like Brookhaven. There's horror games, but today we are focusing on a different topic, and that is Titanic game. Now, MC Frame is basically where you can point this up in a lot of different ways and sink it. For example, in this way, you can lead against the bow, and in this way, you can lead it against the stern. There's a bunch of different controls and all nagging stuff like that, but before we get into all that, let's go ahead and start out by checking out the model. So we're going to start off by checking out, out the uh, bridge. Pretty nice. You got the wheels. You got the telegraphs. If you step out further, you got the bridge wing where you can get a nice view of the bow, which we'll check out later. Here we are on the boat deck where you have an F3X giver. It's just a little bit of a building tool thing. Don't really know how to use it, but anyways... Here you got some lifeboats and the lifeboat davits. There's not all the lifeboats, but here you also got the uh, emergency lifeboat, which if you haven't watched the Titanic as West exclamation mode, I'm just going to tell you that this was always over the davit. But continuing on, on, here we got more label text with this lifeboat. Boat. And continuing on, here we have the upper windows of the first class lounge, which, or, which I think is indeed included in this game. I played this game before, but there was a lot of things. But anyways, continuing on with the tour, let's head to the stern. We've got a lifeboat with more label text, more lifeboat dabbits, and another thing that says label text. Now heading around. Now let's quickly head around the second class staircase, just to let you know, everything else is pretty much the same on the port side. You can get a nice view of it, right? You can even take a screenshot if you want. And so you're going to be heading down to ADAC and continuing on over there. We're going to do it like our SOS style. It, and if you didn't know, we did the exterior first and then the interior. Although you can get some views of the interior. But here we got the attic from nine. You have the windows of the first class smoking room. You can head to the outground staircase there. Now, if I were to describe this game, aim in a few cents. Hold on. You got the first class lounge, and up there it's the grand staircase and basically some cabins. But if I were to describe I have this game in a free so I would say it has it has, the rooms aren't very detailed, they're kinda of like old. But that's there's a lot of them. Other than that, we continue to explore. You can look around this wraparound part. Get a nice there's a reading and writing room window thing over there. No, it's a lounge. But, you, but I'll, it's pretty much the same, but I'll give you a cool cinematic view. Ew, because I, I like doing cinematic stuff. 
But, anyways, heading down to B deck, you got this little wraparound part with some other hallways. It's very nice. It's really. Continuing to. But, but on the other side, I'd. You have some stuff going on. On. And I'm gonna show you that stuff when you get there. There. I don't know how this developer got in so many rooms. But at the interior is gonna be safe. Maybe for you. Because boy oh boy, is there are a lot of interiors. I might have to do the make frame part in a separate video. Do you have to do that? That anyways, continuing on so he, down here it's basically just the same. You have a little bit of a second class promenade that leads to the second class staircase. A little entrance which was actually there. And once again, another second class from not, which leads to the cafe per the end, which we'll also check out later. But here on, but now heading quickly down to C deck, you have a little bit of black section. You got some tarps. You got some um palm things like this. You even got a generator type thing, and yeah, up here you got some cranes, some benches. Is, but continuing further aft, you have the uh, mini bridge. This was used to make sure the ship stayed clear of ports and didn't smash right into the port by the stern. You also have some of th of these, whatever they were, gas anchor stuff. You got the sign or sort of screws to keep clear blades. And this is the most aft part of the ship you, we can go. This is the very back of the ship. Yep. But that. But that. And we're gonna. But now we're gonna explore the bow, and then we're gonna get to the interiors. They're cl yet again. I said they're classic, but boys, there are a lot of them. Um. And I hope. Also, also, guys, if you're enjoying the video and you want more content like this, make sure to smash that like button and, and, and also do the same with the subscribe button. I know we're a small channel. No, no, I know we're a small channel, but I think I have big potential to be a successful channel. Also, got also. But, but now we can continue on with the tour and not advertise. Here we got some cranes, which are also on the stern. We got two generators. There's, we got some tarps, and you got this thing, whatever it's supposed to be, and another tarp. But heading even for, further forward, you have the mast, some anchor stuff, a little bit of mini tarp. And then the main, eh, you got some stuff. And then the main anchor, which would normally be stored over here. And and now I can recreate the rose flying seed. <laughs> nice recreation of the scene, wasn't it? Now we're gonna head up to see the boat deck interiors. Here's, here's which is, here's and then A deck all the way down to G deck if we could find that. Now, now I have played this a few times. I only really had fun with the sinking experience. So this is gonna be a whole new experience to see, like do a tour of it. But, but. At staking our first look inside, we have the wheelhouse. The wheel is a bit small, but you got the small, it's basic, but it's still good. You got this little bedroom with a chair that I think, and you got, and this was what I would consider my cabin in Titanic SOS 1.5. You should go check out that video. Yo, by the way, uploaded it like yesterday, I guess. Here we also have Captain Smith's 
bathtub. Ooh. Awesome. But, but, in the back section, we have this little room. And another little entrance. Other than that, you just have a bit of rooms like this. This, it's not really anything worth talking. They just took a green bed. A non-accessible grand staircase door. Or, but no Marconi wireless room, sadly. Looking for, and that's all for the officer's quarters area for now. Wait, here's the Marconi wireless room. I knew they had to have it, have it somewhere. And here's where they slept, I guess. Not as detailed as some other things, but it's still, it's, but hey, hey, a Marconi wireless room is a Marconi wireless room. But our next look inside is a taste of luxury. Great. Say hello to the grand staircase, everybody. Remi reminds me of Back to the Past, which I pre-recorded, but it's releasing today. So go watch that after you're done watching this. You got a boat deck sign. Got some chairs. Chairs. And you got some heaters. Not, and you got the clock. And a little mini staircase. Also, here is the gymnasium. It's not detailed. Oh, like the Titan, like the Titanic game, which was also pre-recorded, but it is also releasing today. So go check that out also after you finish watching the other two videos I mentioned. Gymnasium is basically just like that. Nothing worth checking out there. But if you didn't know, there were some secret rooms in Titanic SOS. Yes, but one, one of, them, but one of them was not this glitched area. The only real boat deck interior that we we have here that Titanic SOS doesn't have, have, and it's also the only boat deck interior you have left, is second class staircase top deck. As you can see, it's all you could expect: a mini staircase. And the second class staircase elevator. But we're not done yet. Oh no 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 no. We're not we're just gonna get into even more stuff. Because because as we are going to be venturing down to A deck. A lot of stuff has is on A deck for your information. So here on A deck, you have the little statue. You have the chairs, an electric heater, classic. Sick. Sick, you got more chairs. You have a plant, more electric heaters, and more chairs. You even have the elevator shafts, which are on E deck, so we'll go inside them later. You even got the attic sign. And over here are just some hallways, which are less detailed than that, and guess what? It's for just. I was like, you can also look out onto the bow. What a lovely view. But but we are not done. There is a hallway here. Here. Now, before we explore the lounge, this is the reading and writing room. This reminds me of Titanic video again. And whatever it was in front of us. But now we have a fully furnished, furnished reading and writing room. That is pretty cool. Got the chairs and everything. You could sit down here, write a letter. This is also for a woman, by the way. Hey, don't judge me. This is from 1912, and I didn't build this. But, I got some pink lamps and some neat, good lights. But, now it's time for the first But Hold on. And I also like the white walls and the... And the fireplace and everything. But if we take another look, we can now see that we are in the first class lounge. Got some bugs, you got a fireplace, and you got some green chairs. It was better than Titanic as was, but don't mention that. You even got the little areas in it and the mini dome. Mind you've seen from nineteen ninety seven. But but if, and yeah, the room is pretty big, and 
that's and that's the and that's it's the room. I also like the chandeliers and attention to detail because you make it less more like comfy, look more look more comfy and not like green stone. But it's still good. But wait, there's more. In this little corridor, it takes us. This door leads to these doors need to lo nowhere. But here we are. Oh, hold on. Here we are on the aft grand staircase, everybody. Would you look at that? The top level of the aft grand staircase. We'll explore B deck later. But if you got a mini staircase, not as grand of a clock, but it's still a clock, which is good. You got the attic thing, no elevators, but it's still pretty cool. But wait, there's even more. Welcome to the first class smoking room. This reminds me of when a bunch of people were playing poker on a night to remember. But anyways, you got really nice glass drawings, which look like they're supposed to be in the church. Which, but you got some tables and chairs, you got some trays, you even got the special area. And you got the arrival to the new world painting. Pretty cool. But we have one final room to explore on ADAC. Hold on. There's the last room the chandeliers. It's in glass. But the the last room we get to explore for ADEC is the Veranda Com Court. This was used to be a restaurant and a play court for kids. It's and it's pretty good and it's pretty beautiful with all the chairs and stuff. Uh, but we are not even close to being done. We still have B deck, C deck, C deck, D deck, deck E, E deck, deck, F deck, and G deck. If there, any on those decks, I'm gonna some if there is any anterior on those decks, I'm gonna exclude some decks. But it's few. A deck. There's a lot of stuff happening on A deck. But heading down to B deck. There's a there's a lot of hallways again, but wait, there's there's a door this time. We can get some fresh air out here. Pretty and nice view. Pretty nice. Nice. And all of them are just the same as up on A deck. But on B deck, deck yet again we got some elbow shots. But you also have what I like to call the secret cabins. Basically, just some secret rooms and glitched in here for some reason. I don't know why they ma made the rooms. I guess, want to th I guess he wanted people to think there was more to the ship, but I don't blame him. I would want to think the same thing. But, but, you even got those mini promenade things on either side. I'd, but, we have something, this would be left promenade, but we have something special. Because we get to see a J. Bruce's is maze, a Smash private promenade and a bit of his cabins. Would you look at this? He got a chair and some deck chairs, another chair, a deck chair, and another chair. He got some leaves, more leaves, and he got another chair, plus a table and a chair. Now here's one of the rooms we can explore. As you can see, it looks very luxurious. The chairs actually look comfy. And table and cloth are look really luxurious. But we can actually explore this room, which is, has a little bed and a little table. And that's all the proper promenade, but it's still a nice detail they included, in my opinion. Other than that, you got a little bit of a hallway. Wait, you can, you can actually this room there's actually a little better bathroom with the natural bathtub there are only two of these in third class but this one but this one can get their on that's a, that's how luxurious first class was compared to third class and we're here i just got a bunk bed and, and some couch and some chairs so other than that you just got an empty room where a cabin should be but wait also on B deck, 
you get an accurate hoy that takes you to this area. And there's, oh yeah, it's kind of like a mini cafe Persian, and it's inside. But you got some of these little tables and chair things. Just hang out here. Got another electric heater. There and yeah. Uh, yeah, there's also some plants and a bee deck with a, with a mini clock. But also here, well, here is the Cafe Parisienne. Uh, before, we saw it from outside here. But now we get to see it from the inside. Alright, what do you think of that? You got uh, some red and green tables. You got that accurate tray. You got uh, everything you need in the Cafe Persian. Heck, yeah, keeping the walls good. good. And the fake plants, though, are still very good. But that... They have... They have part of an a la carte restaurant, but it's not exactly the best. Maybe they'll update this once in a while, and we'll get a good a la carte restaurant. That is pretty much all the beat interiors. Yes, I know not as much, much as some other places. This is, but they, but, but don't. Uh, uh, there's also a mini stairway for here for some reason. I don't know why, but there's a secret room on this. But, but, but it's still pretty good. It, but now, now we explore, we need to explore the next deck down. Sea deck. Now, sea deck is where the Ash Grand Staircase ends, if you didn't know that. You are on the Ford Grand Staircase, though. Yep, we're on sea deck. You got some tables. You got two electric heaters. You got some chairs. One, two, three. With electric heaters surrounding them. You got two blue chairs. Sadly, we cannot go past the curtains to explore the hallway. Okay. But, right, there's even more, more secret ca but there's more secret cabin areas. Like this one. I don't know why there's a big white block here, but I don't... Uh, wait, hold on. A secret passage through Sea Deck. Why did he include this? It's for some reason. Why did he include this? Well, that's all the interior you missed out on, if you were wondering. And there's even more over there, but we're not gonna go into glitched areas. Maybe we will do an episode dedicated to uh, glitched areas in the future. They can subscribe if you want on something like that. But continuing on, but anyways, he's not glitching out, out of the ship. There's just some more weird stuff with white blocks. What's going on? And that's really off for C deck. You, gotta, you can get a little view into D deck. And the lips can Go into them, and there's a vegetable floor. You have one lift on D deck, and one. You got three lifts on D deck, and so on E deck. Wait, hold on. I'm stuck in here. Hey, 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 hey. I got stuck in here. Now I need to retrace my steps. <coughs> hold on, guys. Nothing happened. You're just thinking of things again. But anyways, another little bit of a secret cabin on the other side. Kinda weird. But can we hint? Wait, we can get into the person's office. You got the little Marconi wireless set up. And here's another. Here's where the pipes end. You got some lights, a table, a chair, some cupboards, more cupboards, birds, a chair, and some fancy chairs outside. But, 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 there is some other things happening on Sea Deck. Deck, and there's actually a lot more, including some stuff uh, of 
that is on the bar. Oh, but hold on. So firstly, we got the end of the staircase. They have not made a barber shop yet or the hallways. I'm sure they will soon. Got some other hallways. What a nice ending though. There's a clock, C deck. I think it's pretty decent. But, but there is also other things on C-Deck. So let's head to the stern. Yes, there's things on the stern. And there's a little bit of low detailed rooms. Rooms. So here we are. This is supposed to be the third class general room, but it's just a bunch of this. So yes. We'll explore D-Deck later. But that's pretty much it. Just a few rooms. Um, But there's also some stuff on the bow. Yes, there's stuff on C-Deck on the bow. Oh. There's so many interiors on the ship. When will it end? Well, I don't think anytime soon. I can't. Well, is this episode really long? I think it is. I can't believe this. How did he make an MC frame game so detailed and so one to one? I've never seen a one to one MC frame game before. Or, but in here, there's just some little bit of a cabin thing, closed off areas, and other than that some white walls, and this and that. But now we're gonna head down a deck to D-Deck, and here's where things start to get interesting, because I haven't really explored outer areas of D-Deck, but I can tell you that there's some um, um, stuff on there. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of there definitely is stuff on deck. Also, there's an invisible wall that keeps me from falling down to E-Deck here. Here, but that's okay. Because this because this game is none like any other. Because but so let's but let's get started with the tour. Or a D-Deck. You got some chairs, you got the gangway doors, you got the carpet, you got this thing, whatever it's supposed to be. On this side, you got gangway doors, and the exact same thing again. But here you have some fancy doors, a long chair, and you have a lot of, of green chairs and a colorful couches everywhere. There are air, and there's a so-called table in the middle. Repeat, repeat. And there's also a brown piano. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, you got the uh, porthole things. And you also got this beautiful sin here. Here. You got the elevator shafts, which the elevators on the deck. And you got some dark rooms. I don't want to explore them because there's basically nothing there. And it's dark. dark. There's a painting here, by the way. But. This game has something that no other Roblox game has fully accomplished before. We have the entire dining saloon area fully complete, fully tableized, fully furniturized. The wood carvings are here, everything. You got the tables, you got per plates with a blue ring on the end, and you got some cutlery. I like the unique, you got the unique design of the shapes, and you got these window things, things on either side. It takes, I, I bet it must take a lot of effort to replicate something like this. Especially things like the big center table and all these little ins and outs bits, and the long tables and the pillars. This must have taken a long time. Hey man, this is fully front rod. You even got these little things. Yes. I've never seen this in a Roblox game before. Like, we've seen it in other game 
we'd seen it in other games, but it was, but it isn't like, but it wasn't fully furnished and everything. This one is. Take a moment to appreciate all like the beauty of this. Okay, over there, I'm gonna save that for episode two of the glitch episode thing, because it's basically just that. But there is some other. But that was the furnace section. There is some weird stuff on the back. Now uh, for for Direk, I believe, and that is things like a third class space. I feel like, but I feel like this episode is like really long. This is quite a long episode because there's a lot of things to tour. And hopefully this is recording, because I don't want to waste this. I have to record the things, but, and they fail. Anyways, here we got the unfurnished third class space. It could be better, could be worse, but right now, it's kind of in the middle. Over here, I got a secret area with some stairways, and that's pretty much the third class space. Wait, I forgot there was a gate. On the stern, there are some weird things on T-Deck 2. Who can't, also can't wait for the new update of this game. Also, guys, I just, if we didn't know, Honor and Glory is coming. I'm going to do an Honor and Glory episode on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Bro. So, so get so get excited because that thing is gonna be even better. It's gonna have probably even more interiors and it's gonna be even more realistic. Every single room is gonna be furnished. Everything's gonna be super accurate, accurate and everything. Everything's gonna be everything's gonna be like the best quality of Titanic that you've ever seen. But 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 now. On D deck, there's just some random rooms here. And you know, nothing much. Just the average stuff happening. Down there is some dark stuff. I'm not gonna show it to you because it's just some walls like that. Yet, yet again, and that was D deck. Also, use the second last promenade. On C deck, hi. Hi. But, but we still, but there still is E deck to explore. Right? Which, I'm pretty sure is kind of the last interior part. There's no, from E deck to D deck, there's basically nothing. So, I think we're not going to be on our last deck, guys. It's after a long episode but we're gonna finally get this thing all all done and, and so let's just get the basics over with you here you got the eat a deck thing you got the clock the amazing woodwork and you got this main staircase there is some things on that deck but here on, just a quick look on F deck. There's not basically nothing here, just the layout of rooms. But you got the clock, you got the woodwork, you got the not so fancy green staircase, but so fancy. You got this. I think this. I think this is the last deck where first class cast first class cabins are. Yes, these are first class cabins. You've got Eric where the where we can enter the lifts. You got a nice carpet and all the good woodwork and everything. Sadly, they are not functional right now, but I'm sure they will if this game is updated. Other than, other than that, there's a really dark Scotland Road. It's basically like this. I'll give you a little bit of view. But I think this developer is getting. I think this developer is working on something. 
because apparently this is like under construction or something. I don't know why it's there. But I think he is trying to work on this project and update it. And I appreciate that. Uh, just to let you know, on FTAC, it's just a bunch of random walls. Walls. You know what? I, I, li I never thought an MC frame game could get so realistic and so big. Big in, like... I never thought I'd a Roblox. I never thought I'd like a game could. Uh, I never thought a Roblox game could get this many rooms, and and it's an MC frame game. It's an MC frame game. You hear me? Me? It. This is an MC frame game. As I already mentioned, so this is MC frame. Frame guys. Well, everybody, that is the day's. That is today's video. What did you think? Do you want me to do an episode two of this, or do you want me to keep this just a short episode? I think I'm gonna do ooh, at least four episodes of this or something. Maybe at least three or four. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next